It's uncomplicated, it's just Japan, it's not a social commentary, and it's not even a coming-of-age story. And what's this guy really all about? All things I wasn't expecting to learn when I began my research for this video. So that's what that feels like. Here at Alpaca Thunder, we enjoy rampant artistic interpretation as much as the next guy, believe me. But for this video, I wanted to understand Miyazaki's intention behind his 2001 classic, Spirited Away. Quick disclaimer, none of this is meant to discredit any artistic interpretation that comes from watching the film. I just wanted to learn what Miyazaki actually had in mind. So off I went to my bookshelf where a dusty copy of Turning Point awaited me. A collection of essays, speeches, and conversations involving Hayao Miyazaki from 1997 to 2008. The crux of my research Search. I'll have a link to it in the description in case you're interested in grabbing a copy of your own off Amazon. And without further ado, This is supposed to be the story of a young girl who is thrown into another world, where good people and bad people are all mixed up and coexisting. In this world, she undergoes rigorous training, learns about friendship and self-sacrifice, and using her own basic smarts, somehow not only survives, but manages to return to her own world, Miyazaki writes in his proposal for Spirited Away. He goes on, Yet, just as our ordinary world has not completely disappeared, she has returned not by vanquishing evil in the other world, but as a result of having learned a new way to live. It's an adventure story, plain and simple. And if anything was made crystal clear in my research, it's these two things. One, Miyazaki had great concern for the youth and the unique challenges that they will face in the future, going as far as suggesting that Japan had failed at child rearing, believing children were overprotected, shielded from much of reality, something that is first portrayed by Chihiro's skinny limbs and apathetic expressions, and which completely defines Bo's character arc. And number two, Miyazaki loves children and believes in them fiercely. So this one's for you, 10-year-old kids. Spirited Away was made specifically for 10-year-old girls in an uncomplicated manner. It's his way of letting them know that while the world is vast, deep, and with infinite possibilities, it's a world that's in their hands. And above all, he wanted them to know that they'll be alright. What's that? Not a 10 year old girl? Well fear not, you too can still enjoy this film by enjoying our sponsor! This video has been generously sponsored by Pointer Fingers and their unbreakable will to subscribe to Alpaca Thunder Productions. They cannot be stopped! Thanks to their selfless contribution, we are one step closer to complete integration of our end-to-end -end Alpaca encryption algorithm firmware. Optimize your deliverables and tap into the future! future. Efficiently and with lower downtime, backed by cloud vaporware functionality. Big data analytics suggest 9 out of 10 dentists agree Subscribing to the revolution will align your optimals to the peak alignment. Alpaca Thunder Productions. Believe the difference. Subscribe today. Words are power, he continues in his proposal. Miyazaki wanted to convey that words represent our will as well as who we are. So when Chihiro says, hey yo, I want to work here, her words are so powerful that even Yubaba must listen to her. If she had instead said no or I want to go home, she would have risked being tossed out or even possibly being turned into a chicken, forced to lay eggs until inevitably eaten. Pretty dark stuff there, Miyazaki. Sheesh. <laughs> Appropriating another's name does not equate to just changing your name, it is a way of completely controlling the other person, echoing the horror in Sen when she realizes she has begun to forget her own name. So Miyazaki is a huge believer in the importance of remembering where we come from, who we are, and who our ancestors were, and even in what memories our very DNA could hold. And if we lose this, well, we could be lost forever. With 10 year olds in mind, Spirited Away was created to be a simple adventure story, yet still not a western style fairy tale with easy outs. Miyazaki goes as far as saying that Chihiro is the protagonist simply because she's strong enough to avoid being eaten. There's this natural aspect that Miyazaki enjoys in films that sometimes can come off as cruel or harsh, not as beautiful choreographed moments, but as honest, sometimes ugly and sudden occurrences. Note how no one gets a final poetic last word before being heartlessly dev- <laughs> Machines can be fragile and finicky, even deities need rest. These things breathe life into his works. Many of the beautiful, cathartic moments arise and pass before we're given much time to bask in them, a theme counter to most mainstream media.
Up until Spirited Away, Ghibli films had been complicated stories packed with opinions on the state of the world, something not quite compatible with a story meant for 10 year olds. So let's break down some of the concepts and rather than overanalyze them, let's uncomplicate them. So as most of you remember, Shihiro's parents are pretty quickly turned into pigs when they gorge themselves on the buffet. When asked why the parents were turned at all, Miyazaki answered, because they were getting in the way of Chihiro becoming the heroine, and pigs specifically because they were acting like pigs, how he saw many Japanese during and after the economic bubble. And that's as deep as it goes, going on that it's difficult for children to reach their full potential with their parents around them to hurry them along. So without getting complicated, Chihiro just needed the space to grow. The hero is transported to another world and ends up in the memorable bathhouse. This other world is actually just meant to depict Japan itself. The employee rooms in the bathhouse which Shihiro lives in are like the dormitories women would use in textile companies, common until not too long ago. Miyazaki mentions how designing the bathhouse gave him a real sense of nostalgia, thinking how it was something that could have really existed in the Muromachi or Edo periods. <laughs> In the bathhouse, one has to work in order to survive, something that Miyazaki included merely to make the film more universal. It was an idea he got from a documentary about child labor in Peru, saying, if I were to make a film for the sake of all the children on earth, it would have to be something that any child could understand, no matter what sort of life they were living. Going on that the idea of children not working is actually a very new concept. He goes on to say that as social creatures, humans need some connection to society, so we have to work. You know him, you love him, he's... <laughs> No Face came about as a result of an unforeseen story meeting during a day off at the office. It seemed at the time that the film would drag on for three and a half hours, an unfeasible length with the deadline at hand, so a big change needed to happen. But they had already drawn some of the movie, so they couldn't change that. So using what they had already animated, they noticed the weird man in the bridge scene. They decided to use this character and thus, No Face came to be. So he wasn't a pre-planned character, he just happened to have been in the film already. Miyazaki's producer, Toshi Suzuki would go around saying that it was actually Miyazaki's alter ego, but this wasn't really the case. No Face is a character that represents a little bit of something in all of us. Kind of like... He is really just a name and a mask, and beyond that, even Miyazaki doesn't really know what goes on in his head, his name stemming from the fact that his expression never really changes. So Chihiro enters the bathhouse as a timid, bratty child and leaves having grown at least a little. Typically what you would call a coming of age story. This one is certainly subjective and on the edge of artistic intent, but Miyazaki talks about it so I'll mention it here. He says, I often sense there's a coming of age myth because they seem to imply that when they grow up, everything will be fine. But in reality, when I look at myself and ask myself if I've really matured, all I can say is that I think I've gained a bit more self-control. Other than that, it seems as though I've mostly been running around in circles for the last 60 years. He wanted to overturn the idea that if you just grow up and fall in love, everything will be alright. Well, so here we are. After all we've learned, how then do we watch this simple adventure story meant for children as adults? We can't really, not 100%, but we can still dig into ourselves for that 10 year old self and watch from that perspective. And when I do this, not with the wisdom that maybe these parents aren't great or the knowledge that this is a comparison to the economic condition at the time, but just as a child, the movie changes into a whole other thing. So load up the movie, dig deep and bring out the little hangry jam hands child within yourself and re-enjoy Spirited Away in a way that you never have. I'll be covering more Ghibli films focusing on Miyazaki's intent, so keep a lookout for those, and take care guys. Smart World Technology enters the Cloud Futureware ecosystem, fully loaded, now $99.99, Alpaca Thunder Productions, believe the difference.